Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. We're going to get started with the show right away. Uh, please know if, if any, hey, this happened uh, after Monday's show. If anybody posts in the comments about their work, um, competitors or whatever, please just ignore that. If anybody reaches out to you and tries to say they're me or compare themselves to me, they're right. <laughs> who would want to get, first of all, who would want to take on that burden? Second of all, please go to your own channel and play, stay off of everybody else's. Um, but don't get scammed. That's my whole point. Just don't get scammed. There's, there are so many people out there that are such scammers and they will do anything. They have uh, not very good character, clearly, to behave like that. So please don't get scammed by these people. Um, and never take an imita Im imitation. Always go with the original, is what I say. Okay, I am going to be taking callers, and I am also going to be doing um, answering questions on the on the chat in YouTube. First, I'm going to go to names. I'm right away going to do names. And uh, I'm, I'm being told I need to remind you guys, I do private sessions. Uh, if you would like a private session, you can uh, go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. And if you would like to uh, call in to the show tonight. The number is 845-277-9131. Here we go. The names that I'm hearing, these are names from someone above for you. They could be your name or the person above's name or somebody in your family's name. Jake is the first name. Bill is the second name. Tanya is the third name. I'm not going to number all of the names. I never do. Sel Se Selena. Serena. Um, the next name is um, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Um, the next name is Quatar. I'm, I'm sure I might not be pronouncing that correctly. The next name is um, Pan Pancho or Panko. I I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that either. The next name is um, Olivia. The next name is Rodrigo. The next name is Tiffany. The next name is Salem, S-A-L-E-M. The next name is uh, Jason. The next, <laughs> that's it. I can do that, Maria. I can do that one too. Whew. The pressure's off. Whew. The next name is um, Mitchell, and then Michael. I'm going to do two more names. The next name is uh, Mikkel, and then the last name for right now is Doug or Douglas. Now I'm going to go to songs. These songs could be a song they loved, you loved, or a song that answers a question for something going on in your life that they're sending to you. Uh, the songs always crack me up, you guys, because I just never know what's coming out. And some of the songs are kind of like this one, the Beer Barrel Polka. <laughs> If, if this is your song or their song, you're just going to know that's your song. Um, um, the next song is um, that song that goes, because you, I can't sing, so just know that, because you are my lady and I am your man. <laughs> and, uh, it's an, it's a bit of an older song, but not really old. And it's, uh, obviously I can't, if you know that, if, if the song's for you, it's for you. Um, the next song is Lady in Red. Please don't make me sing it. Uh, man, they are, 
I'm just going to say this. They're pulling out songs that I can't even fake sing right now. Like for real, for real. I cannot even fake sing these songs. Um, Ario Speedwagon, anything Ario Speedwagon, Wagon. The next song is um, that song by, I think it's, it says, uh, it goes on and on. Not that, uh, it's about the song on the train and I think it's Foreigner. <laughs> and, um, oh my goodness. Um, you took a midnight train going anywhere. Okay, that song, but better than the way I sing it. Um, strangers dancing or doing whatever they're doing. Something, something. Yeah, okay, that song. I don't need to sing anymore. If you know, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, the next song is uh, eight six seven five three zero oh, nine eight six. Jenny, Jenny, who cannot turn to. Okay, that song. And then that's that's all for songs. Um, they uh, the Humpty Dance. They're gonna. They were not let me go. And I was going to say, that's it for songs. And then they went, no, the Humpty Dance. Sing, say the song, the Humpty Dance. So if you know, if that song's for you, you know it's for you. I don't need to sing any of the lyrics. Nobody needs to hear me sing lyrics to that song. I'm just saying. Okay, as usual, I'm going to go between um, callers on the call log, questions in the chat. If I miss your question, please don't get upset. Uh, just repost your question. Um, I just, I don't know where I left off with the scroll of answering questions pre-show. And I am i don't want to spend a lot of time uh, trying to find the last question that I answered. But I'm going to take a caller first and the first caller. And in case I haven't said it, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. 352. 352, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, Tony. This is Joanna from Florida. Happy Valentine's Day. You look beautiful as always. Happy oh, Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. How can I help you, beautiful? Um, a few months ago, I had asked you a question family related. Um, my father had passed away. And at the time, my siblings weren't cooperating. The, my understanding was there was no will. And they had an open probate. So I agreed with what you had said at the time. Well, nothing went that way. <laughs> I found out they did everything on their own behind my back and uh, even had his services unbeknownst to me, which I was absolutely devastated. Oh. So, um, yes, my one, yeah, oh, yeah, you have no idea. So oh. my one sibling at the time said, you know, and by the way, this is everything we did. And then, and then she was telling me because he had a home and property and she was claiming his home was a total loss and which I knew wasn't true. So I kept checking on the internet because I'm like, I know they're going to put that home for sale. Sure enough, they did a few days ago, but I checked, everything is still in his name and everybody's like, get an attorney, get an attorney, get an attorney. So I'm, I don't, <laughs> I'm struggling with, you know, if I get an attorney, is the, you know, everything I'm going to put myself through worth it or the amount of money. So can, do you see anything around that situation? Like, is it better to just to not proceed or, you know, do you think I should proceed with that? Okay. Just, okay. Um, couple different things coming in and I'm just going to st state them as I, as they come in, I'm just going to let them fly out of my mouth. So be prepared for whatever comes out. I apologize. I don't know what they're about to say. But the first thing is that um, you have to be prepared for the consequences either way. On the first hand, if you don't get an attorney, they're going to proceed and they're going to just uh, take everything. On the second hand, if you do get a, an attorney, there will be a, a division of property, uh, somewhat equal division of property. Now in 
there is, I do believe there is paperwork. I do believe that there was paperwork. People can can destroy yeah. paperwork, but there there is or was paperwork. And I do believe that it's still, uh, they still have, I, I don't think they destroyed the paperwork. I believe they still have the paperwork. So if they, like, for example, yeah. if there was a will, they still have the last will. Okay. So once you get an attorney and get involved, the attorney will fight for your rights in a way that you can't. Will you lose money getting attorney? No. Will you break even? Mm, not, not as much. Yes, but a little more than even. Um, on principle, you can reach out to whatever, if there's an attorney involved that they are using that you know of, I would reach out to that attorney first. And But here's one thing that watch the price and stay in connection with the listing because I believe what they're going to try to do is say, oh, it was it was just like you said, a wash. Um, the expenses exceeded the sale of the property. That's not going to be true. There is going to be a division. They're just right. being greedy and they're being, um, they don't have very good character. So what I'm going to say to you is that it it's, it's, I, if, should she just, should she get it? Yeah. Get an attorney. Um, you can call one that will help you do it. Do think, tell you what to do. You'll find an attorney that will guide you through the steps you need to do on your own, like a pro se attorney or a pro bono uh is that the right word i'm i'm just using it pro bono attorney yeah. that will will they won't charge you by the like the, the i just you're going to find the right attorney and you're going to find an attorney that will help you with either a or b a being um they can tell you all the exact steps to take to find all the legal documents or B, they're going to do it, but they, an attorney that won't charge you that much. Now you can just hire an attorney to pull any and all legal documents on anything regarding this. And once you have the legal documents, then you proceed that way. The attorney doesn't have to necessarily Fight once you have the legal documents. Now, this is what's coming in for me. This is what I'm hearing and giving okay. to you. So I would start there. Find an attorney that can either show you how to get all the legal documents or can force them to give up their attorney and get the legal documents. Because once you have copies of the legal documents... Then, then you that then that's how you say this. These are the legal documents, and this is what's what comes next. Okay, love. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you. Bless you so much. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. Happy Valentine's Day, and I I wish you the best in in dealing with this. I know when it comes to um these types of matters, it's not only the loss, but it's just people get so ridiculous during these times um and i'm so sorry yeah. that you're going through this i'm so so sorry thank you you're welcome you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day and uh please call us back and let us know how everything goes okay i sure will i'm so i'm gonna watch you on youtube now <laughs> i love that thank you so much thank you Okay. Thank you. Bye -bye. You're you're welcome, love. We're going to go to the first uh, question I can find, or the first question that I see. There's so oh my gosh, you guys. There's so many people in the chat. I love y'all so much. You guys are amazing. Hey, Fawn, Terry, Kavita, um, Maria. Um, thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna call you a. 
J.A. J.A. says, hi, I have a question from last time. What can I expect due to my current situation? J.A., I'm going to need just a bit more detail. Uh, which situation is that? I don't, once I channel something, if I had to repeat what I just said to the last caller, I couldn't because when it comes through me, I forget it right after I say it. Um, so I apologize, J.A., I'm going to need just a bit more on that. Um, Terry wants to go, wants to ask, please, any more info on that man coming to me in March from Spirit? Okay, um, is Terry still going to meet a man in March? Yes. Is he going to be the right one? I do feel like he's Asian. He, I see him in a suit. I see him being a little bit um, proper. He's going to seem very intimidating at first, but he is not. He likes to giggle. He has a childlike um, personality and he loves to giggle and he likes. Um, obviously, he likes Asian food, but he also likes um, these um, some sweets. I'm just going to say some some sort of sweets some sort of sweets. So I was in Japan for three months and they have these food um, carts. And by the way, Japan, if you get the opportunity to go, oh my goodness, it was, it was amazing. It was just so amazing. Um, and um, I was there in business doing dinner theater, which is neither here nor there. But during the day I would walk it's the street vendors to find a street vendor who did these <laughs> these crepes. <laughs> it was a crepe, but it had like I told myself it was healthy because it had banana and strawberry, but then it also had ice cream and <laughs> ice cream and um, whipped cream and chocolate, and it, and it was so. Then they folded it like a. It was just so good and I ate it every day I was in Japan every single day I would find one of the um like street it was a little vendor on the street I would find one and have that every single day it was so good so uh back to you Terry I think there is some sweet that he is going to really like this is coming in in March, and I feel between the 8th and the 15th. I see the 15th really big, but I see also the 8th kind of smaller, which tells me you might meet on the 8th or have your first or start going out around the 8th, preparing yourself around the 8th, and then around the 15th or on the 15th might be the first um, going out or I don't know. Um, but just know during those dates to have yourself prepared and ready and to be out and about. Okay, love? I'm going to go to the very next caller who is 631. 631, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Suzanne, Florida. Hey, Suzanne. And my question, I'm job hunting. Hello. Go ahead. Um, thanks for taking my phone call. I'm job, I'm job hunting. Do you see me getting anything part-time, full-time, close to where I live, not close to where I live, and when? Okay, yeah. Um, give me a second here, Suzanne, in a job. Yes, when when is she going to get this job? Okay, there's, okay, so Su Suzanne, what I'm getting is there's something you could start right away you don't want to. Um, it's not on your, in your view, like you're not looking at the thing you could start right away. Okay, second, um, the more permanent uh, thing that you would want. Suzanne, let me ask you, what type of work are you looking for? I, I'm not really sure. I, I applied for like a bus monitor, but it's sort of far away. Um, and then I did, I don't know, food service working in a school or something. I applied, stuff like that. Okay. I just moved from Long Island, Florida. It's hard. I wish I was back in Long Island, but I have to stay here. So... I, you know, mostly everybody's married, retired, but I have to work. 
Okay. I'm hearing that the the bus thing, not so much, but the food thing or the school thing, yes, that's a much bigger, more positive thing. I do feel like you are, that is the, go to, okay, so go to, there's a company, I don't know this, I'm channeling this. If the food if the schools use contractors for the food thing, find out what contractor and apply there. If not, go to the school um, board, not school board, well, the but website. The one, website. The one that's about 35 minutes, 35 minutes away, they never, they were supposed to call me to sub and they never did. Then I really don't want to contract the schools out here where I live to make $12 an hour. And the other one I applied to, I think the job's taken, but somebody was going to put my name in to do after school or somebody quit the food service, you know. Okay, so what I'm getting, I can't, you know, I can tell you what you can get. I can't tell you you have to take it, and I can't tell you it's the, so if I say you're going to, you can get something yeah. for school, but it's the $12 job, then obviously you don't want to take that. You don't have to, but what I can tell you, Right now, as as far as what I'm seeing, that that would that's the position that will come through first is a position with the school. Another position, and depending on what you want to do and how many hours you want to work, one thing I'm getting here they're called um, like quick trips. They're gas stations that have a whole area that makes food. Oh no, and I can't live on that. I can't live on that. Let me. I'm gonna. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm just we'll gonna. See. Okay. I'm gonna mute you so I can talk, love, and you can listen. I love the fact that you're jumping in there and saying that. But I, let me finish before you tell me what you can and can't do because you might be surprised to know. It's so difficult for people to find workers right now that even gas stations especially bigger gas stations that like have the full food and little grocery area are paying 18 to $21 an hour, even in Florida. And especially in Florida, I have a lot of friends in Florida and they're amazed at the fact that when they go and they, and they're, they're getting their gas and they're walking into the gas station and this might be the cashier that checks people out, but also, the area where they prep food and put it out, those people are making a minimum minimum of $18 an hour, whether they work full-time or part-time. Um, so that is, that. I'm just going to leave that there for you. Um, one of the things I am going to do, I'll do a clearing that... Um, Anything stopping or blocking anyone looking for work, uh, let's clear that and pull it out. And the next thing I'm going to say is attitude is everything. Um, every place I go, every single place I go, they, they don't have enough people working for them. And they can't, nobody's applying. I went out to eat last night with a friend and the manager was saying no matter how much they're offering and you know to be part of the serving staff nobody's even applying and we were discussing like what are these people doing how are they living how are they paying their bills because no it it seems like all the places that were very busy pre whatever um, and I can't say the word on air, uh, all the people who were working, they're just not now there. There's, uh, where did they go? What are they doing? Chime in. Where are you people? What are you doing? What, how are you making money? Let us know. So we can, we can get in on that. <laughs> Let us know. Um, so what I'm going to say, sweetie is again, Go look, open your purview of what you're 
what you're willing to do and where you're willing to work. You might be surprised at that. Okay, love. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's what I, I'm just going to leave that there for all the reasons that I kind of want to. Okay, J.A., um, hi, it's okay. My legal situation or will it ever... Or will I have J.A.? <laughs> she switched questions right in the middle, like my legal situation. My question is, what can I expect in terms of my legal situation? Sorry about that. I also would like a private reading. I love you. I love you too, J.A. Um, a private reading. Um, uh Thank you. Okay. J.A., I'm going to say this. Let's uh, let's save. Um, what can you expect? Let's save the, the legal situation for the private reading. And let's talk about, I think you, you had a question about, uh, will I ever meet anyone? It's Valentine's Day. Let's, let's go there. <laughs> let's do that. Yes, you are going to meet someone. I keep kicking my, my thing that my that my, uh, my camera's on. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, you are going to meet somebody end of June, beginning of July. There's a two, actually they're saying there's a two month period. So I'm going to say June and July. There's a two month period where people are going to come in and find you just glowing, J.A., simply glowing. You are going to have a glow up. And I'm sorry, I'm not being sarcastic. This is the way it's coming through. It's true. You're going to have this huge, um, like you're just going to be very, it's almost like Venus is reaching down and going boom, J.A., boom. Um, you're going to, you're going to look good, smell good, walk good, all the goods. Mm. And during that two months, many people are going to approach you, want to be with you and you about you. Um, and what I am hearing is go for sincerity. The one who's not charming, not charismatic, not flamboyant or hey girl you know hey girl what's up girl not the one with the lines not the smooth rico suave type but the one who is very sincere um but persistent the one who puts like they're saying the proof is in the pudding the one who um uh, okay thank you the one who's the best like solid provider without the prova bravado, pro bravado, bravado. Uh, if I'm saying that wrong, please, guys, tell me how to say it. Um, I think it's bravado, not provado. Um, the one who, who shows up ready to, okay, the one who shows up and is talking, not hype about a future, and not too much about a future, but you feel uh, calm around this person and you feel safe around this person. There's no games being played. You don't question their intention and you feel like this person is very integrous. That's the person that out of all the boys, this is gonna be the man, okay? That's really what they're saying to me. So, and that's why they wanted the message to come across because that's a really good and important thing for you to know right now. Oh, okay. I'm going to go to the next call. <laughs> you guys today, it's like going deep. They're like, we're going to go deep, deep, deep. <laughs> I love you too, JA. If anybody wants a private session, I do 30 and 60 minute sessions. It's just we get a lot done in 30 minutes. People want to book an hour. Sometimes I tell them, let's just wait and see what we get done in 30 minutes because so much, I mean, so much can come out in 30 minutes. Um, if they want the extra 30, of course I do it if they have more, but so much can come out in 30 because it's just like this and spirit will come through with things that you haven't even asked yet. But okay. Um, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. 
is where you book your private session and then you call me on the number on my website. Um, what I am going to say also is if you'd like to call in and ask a question, it's 845-277-9131, or you can watch us live. I'm here every Monday at noon, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. You can get in the chat and ask questions if you're watching live. This whole thing unfold live. <laughs> Or you can call in and ask your question there. 215, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Susan and I live in Pennsylvania. Susan, how can I help you? And today? my question is yes. how my, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, it's okay. Go ahead, love. I wanted to know where my relationship was going. Okay, Susan. Um, well, the first thing I hear is um, that song, I don't want to know. Um, so that that's never <laughs> the best song to hear when I'm going <laughs> to. And then I am good. And I don't want to, you know what? I've never been so squirmy to answer a question in my life, but I am hearing you already kind of know the answer to this question because this person has not been as good to you as they possibly could. There, There's a lot of things that if you could change about this person, you would change about this person. And the next thing that I'm hearing is that you are, um, you're on the fence. It's, it's, you're kind of, if I were to say it a different way, you're kind of fed up and frustrated with some of the actions and behaviors of this particular person. Um, mm -hmm. You're kind of past the hope stage. I hope they change. I I feel like it. they could, you kind of feel like, oh, it's set in. It, you finally, hit, you hit that point. We all hit that point in a relationship where we go, this is it. They're not. Oh, my God. They're not. They're not going to change. This is it. Um, and then we go, shoot. That's not the word we use, people. That is not. We go, what do I do now? Because you're so deep into it. Um, you can do whatever you want, my dear one. You can you can decide whatever you want. Um I feel like with this particular relationship, you're going to stay in it for anywhere from, okay, thank you. For three to four months, it's going to kind of go on like it is right now. And then from month four to six, maybe seven, you're going to really like bring the hammer down. Not literally. Don't bring a hammer down and say, Oh, the psychic told me. No, this no, <laughs> the verbal, the verbal, like, listen, this is this and that's that, or cut it. Uh, don't don't bring any tools, literal tools into the game. No. Um, but you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna kind of be like, like you shape up or ship it out because I'm done with the dumb. Like you're by the especially by month number six, you're going to be so done with dumb. You're going to be like, you need to get it together or you need to get it out by month eight and nine. You're, you're going to be exactly where you want to be. Um, and I hear, um, they're so funny. They're singing that song. So fresh and so clean, so fresh and so clean. I don't even know that song really, but, um, Ain't nobody dun, 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 that song, whatever that is, um, which by that beat, nobody knows that song. But um, what I'm hearing is you're going to have a fresh start if you choose to. I can't tell you it's going to be over because all of this is up to you. You're going to be the one who gets to decide if and or when you want to pull the plug on the life support system that you're currently in. <laughs> I'm getting ready to. Now, is, is there going to be another woman? I mean, like last year it was a woman, but not, he wasn't seeing her. 
I mean, he, but he was getting emotionally involved with her to where if he kept it up and I didn't put my foot down, it would have led into something else. Um, I'm going to go back to the first song that they gave you. I don't want to know if you're creeping. I don't want to know. Keep it on the low. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I'm going to say this. Um, you're going to find out something right around that three to four month mark that's going to really have you in your head. And you are going to buy the by the I want you to go back and listen to the timelines. I'm going to tell you. He is probably, okay, he is not a very honest person, and he is not being completely honest with you. And I feel like this time, you could put your foot down again and take a chance, but he keeps going back to the same thing again and again and again. And I feel like you're just going to be done playing games with you know, with this situation. Again, it's going to be up to you when you do this. But I feel like, like you said, you're already there, you, you know, but I feel like right around that eight or nine month mark, you're just going to pull the plug on the life support and say, it's, a, it, we're going to call time. We're calling time on this. It's over. Because again, right around the three in between the third and four month mark you're gonna find something you're gonna find out something you already know you you already have the feeling of it um but you don't have the evidence of it i feel like you're gonna get like that little piece of something that you need to say i'm not crazy and isn't that it with us isn't that it we just want to know because the first no. thing they say is you're crazy you're jealous. You're, You're crazy. That, right? <laughs> Dude, no, we're Are not you crazy. To your friends too much. Yeah, that, yes. Um, and you're just going to say enough is enough. Um, and you're going to make your choices. You're going to start getting everything together so that you can handle things in the way you need to, regardless of this person being in your situation or not. Okay, sweetie. Um, I wish you luck with this. I, okay. I can tell you he is not uh, men. I, you know, I'm going to say this. I, when I need to know the truth about a situation, I will, as I'm falling mm -hmm. asleep, I'll just say, God, show me the truth. And within 48 hours, boom, it is there. I don't like it. And I caution anybody who wants to do that because there's a reason ignorance is bliss. There is definitely a reason <laughs> ignorance is bliss. So um, if you want to know, you can do that and you'll start getting uh, pieces of the puzzle to start putting together. I think he you're going to find out something and that that you're going to start making your moves behind the scene to plan the ending and the exit strategy and to make sure everything financially falls into your favor. Okay, love? Okay. okay. Now, one quick question. You made songs up as you were starting the show and you said, you are my lady. Yeah, and I don't know, like, if it meant for the callers that called in, but my ex-husband that passed away, that was our song at our wedding. Thank you so much for that confirmation. See everybody, see now that song doesn't only have to be for her; it could be for other people too. But that is definitely. They know when you're calling in and they know when you're listening and or watching and they will get that they will get that message to you to let you know you are there. And as a matter of fact, he is saying you can ask him, show me you can ask your ex, show me and 
he will do his best to get you what you need to make a good decision about your situation. Okay, love? Okay, thank you very much. It was good talking to you. You Happy too. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, love. We will chat again soon. Thank right. you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller on the chat. I hope I can find the next uh, caller. I mean, the next <laughs> the next question on the chat. Um, uh, my eyes have to adjust to this police light I have in front of me. Shannon, Shannon, welcome to the show, Shannon. Hello, do my spirit guides have any messages for me, please? Uh, yes, typically I would ask for a more specific uh, question, but uh, Shannon, Shannon Lee, I believe that's what it says. Uh, the first, they said yes right away. So I'm just going to give you whatever comes out. Um, people don't always love it when their guides just give them messages, but this is the message for you. You need to be, um, well, okay. This is a show for people 18 and above. So there's that. Um, I'm just going to, apparently I'm not just going to say it because, <laughs> because Shannon, you need to be really careful when you're having relations, adult relations. I don't know why, just please keep yourself safe and protected, whether that means for the, you know, possibility of possibly a baby or something else. Just really be very careful about all, I'm just going to say it like I'm hearing it, be very, Shannon, be very, very, very careful about all matters with adult relations, adult, there are certain words that we can't say on, because we live in a free country, <laughs> um, there are certain words I can't use, and one of them is actual. Um, all of those activities, adult activities, or possibility of adult activities, um, please be very careful with them in those situations for whatever reason. Uh, that is the message that you're getting and that they were bringing through right away. I hope that makes sense to you. And uh Mm, yep, that's what I have there. I'm going to go to the next caller, 720-720. What's your name and where are you calling oh. from? Hi, my name is Randy. I'm calling from Colorado. Hey, Randy, how can I help you today? I'm wondering if you could do a mediumship reading. Yep. And you know, my brother or I had some friends that passed over. Let's let's do this. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of people passed over. Okay, Randy. Uh, pick up what I ask everybody to do is to, or anybody who wants to connect with a loved one on the other side. The first thing that I ask is um, for the name and the relationship to you. I am going to tell you I'm seeing somebody right now who is standing next to you. I see them off in the distance and I'm assuming they're they're with you because they're showing me they're standing next to somebody. I believe this could be your brother. He has brownish hair and um, I yeah. see him holding, holding a child. It doesn't mean it's his child. It just means that at some point he held a child and the, the, the yeah. child he's holding is in a blue blanket sleeper. I don't know if that makes sense to you. I don't know, but that's what I'm no. getting. I mean, it could. I mean, I, I'm thinking I know who it is, but like I don't know for sure about the blue blanket. <laughs> okay, so d is, is his that grandchild? I'm sorry. Maybe his grandchild. It, it could be his grandchild because when he died, he had a grand uh, a grandson was born oh. after he died that was named after him. Okay, so Maybe the blue. Okay, thank you. The blue is symbolic of a boy. And holding is symbolic of a baby. So we're just going to go with that. Yeah. Okay. Can you please tell me his first name? Uh, I, well, he was born Gerald, but we call him Jerry. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Okay. Did you have a specific question for Jerry or just? Yeah, I don't know. I was like, maybe. 
I don't know. I feel sad that he died the way he died. He says, I, I, I feel like I could have maybe done something. You no. Know? Like, no. I you, know. You, okay. So first, I'm so sorry for your loss, my love. I'm really, really sorry for your loss. Um, the first thing he's saying is no one could have done nothing. Um, and then he's, he's like, there's... Um, I think it's a song. It's coming through as a song. Um, no one can say like, like it was kind of maybe like a, more of a rock song, but I don't have the beat of it, but it's kind of like, no one can save me now. Um, but don't, but, but not like that, but you know, it was meant, there's nothing anyone could have done or said that would have changed the, the, the dynamics of this and that it is, um, that it's okay and don't be sad um don't be sad because it, it is as it is supposed to be and he's in a ugh, god i'm gonna he's in a he's in a very 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 good place now and there's no no more <laughs> suffering okay love yeah Thank you. You're welcome. And if I could just add one one more thing, I want you to know, like, he is, most people, when they come through to give, um, uh, when they come through to, for, for, for the show to give you a um, message, um, what they do is they're here with me, but he's not even leaving your side to be here to give the message for you. He's, he's staying with you to like give you, to give you that message. I hope that that's, that's huge. I want you to know how huge that is. Like he won't even leave your side to pop in, to give you the message and go back. He's steady staying with you is what he's saying. And, and don't be sad. He's good. He's in a, he's saying he's in a much better place now. Okay. Is did, he taking care of Jan, his wife? Is yeah. he like watching over her? Did he have I yes, I I'm hearing yes and I I need to ask you because I keep hearing depression, depression, depression. Was he suffering um depression or is that somebody sure. else? I think they both are probably. I'm sure she is now cuz she just hurt her she used to be very sad from his loss. And she just hurt her foot. Like, she can't couldn't walk for a while, and she couldn't work, so she's, like, isolated. So I'm sure she's depressed, too. Oh. I'm sure he was depressed. I'm sure they both are. And then COVID, they didn't go out at all. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't even go outside at all. I'm so sorry. They were okay. so scared. So I'm going to yeah. tell you that that I, I just want you to know that if, if it's her – that's his confirmation that he's with her. He's letting you know he's watching her and he is aware. And then, and, and, and I want you to know that he is saying, please find, uh, find joy, just find joy in your life. And you're going to be, it's, it's going to help you have, I don't I, uh, like, I know what this means, but it sounds so simplistic when I say it, like, when we when we find joy, when we have joy or happiness, like everything in life gets better. And but I do know it can be difficult to get to that place sometimes. Also, okay, sweetie. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay. Thank you so much. You I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on mute, and then I'm going to do a clearing for depression, sadness, and um, loss. So. Um, hang out just until at least until the end of that and and we will get that done. So right now I'm going to clear for anyone and everyone listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching um, all depression, sadness, um, mourning, um, grief. Let's pull all of that out. If you're in the chat and you're feeling it, uh, let me know that you're feeling it so that I know that it's... Um, it's working for you. Okay, the next, Serena wants to know, will I receive 
my large sum of money this month. No, Serena, it's not going to be this month, but I do hear next month is looking really good for you. And then I hear March confirming it's not going to be in February. It will probably be in March. And if I'm being honest, I'm seeing March like the 28th, but I'm hearing the 29th. So near the end of March. Now, as everything sits right now, Serena, this is what I'm hearing. Sometimes things can ch change a little bit and that might push it back a little bit to um, April. But as of right now, this is what I'm hearing for you. So please be be aware of that and know that it is it is on its way. OK, I'm going to go to the next caller who is um, five, eight, five. What's your name and where are you calling from? Happy Valentine's Day. Excuse me. Happy Valentine's Day. My name is Jeannie, and I'm calling from New York. Hey, Jeannie. Happy Valentine's Day, and thank you for calling. How can I help you today? Um, I'd like to take a look at my finance. Okay. You see things getting better? Not right away, Jeannie. Um, and I don't like saying that. I'm so sorry. I, you know, I'm so sorry about that. I feel like the way your finance is getting better is by you. Um, they're using the term doubling down and doing something to bring extra in. Um, obviously, if you just keep bringing in or doing what you're doing now, it can't. Uh, you need to supplement. That's all. I, they're using the word supplement. You need to find a way to supplement, but you need to supplement with something that's fun. So. Again, whatever that is for you, uh, that is the the best thing. Okay. And what whatever is fun for you, like I'm gonna say this again, and I've been say I've said this on my show a couple of times, and I'm not saying this is the best thing for you, Jeannie. Um, but there's this thing called friend finder. And it's being a cyber friend or just some somebody calls you and they just talk with you. And there are a lot of lonely people out there right now, people who don't want to go out, who have lost a lot of people. And they're willing, like they might not want to talk to a therapist, but they might not want to burden their friends. And they they just want someone to talk to. And on this site, you can sign up and they'll pay you put in the amount that you want. And then uh, if, if people choose to talk to you, but they, they also have on that site, I'm going to laugh because they also have a cyber girlfriend. If you want to be a cyber girlfriend or a, a gaming friend or whatever, there's a, there's a variety of different things you could do. But if you can just listen to somebody, I mean, and sit at home and make whatever an hour that might be an option for some people listening. Now, for other people, that's not going to be a good option, and I understand that. But what I'm saying is find something that fits your personality. And for you, Jeannie, they're really emphasizing it has to be something that you're going to have fun with, something you're going to enjoy because you already have enough going on that's not, you know, like that. So that's what I would, I, that's what I'm saying to you. That's, that's the answer that they're giving for you. Okay, okay, love? Okay, great. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. I'm going to do a clearing um, for finances. I'm going to do a money, a money clearing for everybody. Anything that's stopping, blocking, us from bringing in more money, whether it be for work or whatever. Let's uh, clear and heal that, all that caused and kept it. Let's clear and heal it. Um, anything stopping or blocking us from getting ahead, staying ahead and keeping money. Holy cow, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> keeping money coming in. Let's clear, heal it. Release that. Who? Okay, uh, come. You, the more you listen to this, the these clearings, the more stuff it will clear out for you, and the better your experience is going to be. Um, so yes, please know that everybody. Um, I'm gonna find Kavita. Kavita, hey Tony. Um, I would love any new 
info on this man you see me meeting. Okay, you're welcome, Kavita. You know, Kavita, it's so weird. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes I'll 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 think about um like the other day I was doing something and I started thinking about you and your trip to Greece. You're going to Greece, right? I have the right person. Pretty sure I do. And um and the guy, and I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun in Greece and you're going to meet a lot of people in Greece. You may meet a man there, but that's not a practical situation. That person can't or won't relocate and neither will you. Um, but meet friends safely, of course. But I feel like once you come back from Greece, you're going to have a new perspective and it's going to be no holds barred. You're going to be uh, much, 90 seconds. Oh my gosh, are we already done? Um, did that fly, everybody? That just flew, right? That flew? Um, I can't be over already. Um, uh, you're going to have a much more open perspective on like everything from how you dress to how you, it's it, okay. Thank you. You're going to have a 60 seconds. Like you're going to have a redo of yourself once you come back from Greece. Like something about seeing the way the women there dress, talk, behave, how they're uh, a little bit more whatever they are for you. You're going to come back and be very in alignment with that. And then you're going to be saying, let's go. No more playing it small. I love that. Never play it small. No more playing it small. I'm ready. Something about this experience is going to have you saying, that's it. I'm ready. And Kavita, I did a TikTok today about um, love and relationship. So please go listen to that TikTok a couple of times and uh, see what see what comes from it, okay? See if you feel things going. Um, okay, everybody, thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I will be back Monday at um, noon central answering questions, doing clearings, uh, the whole thing I've been doing through this whole hour. And I'll be back next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central, and uh, we will we will just uh, do this all over again on Monday and on Wednesday. I give uh, two hours a week to do this for you guys. Uh, the sooner that you get into the call log, and the sooner that you you uh, get into the chat, the better chance you have of me answering a question for you. I'm so sorry if I wasn't able to get to you today. Please do come back. I, I really do try to get to everybody that I can. Uh, thank you again, Kim. Oh my gosh, Joy. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so, I didn't even get to see everybody who's here. I, okay, you guys, I love you so much. I uh, have an amazing weekend. If I don't pop in, I might pop in. Um, so thank you. Please don't forget to like, and uh, I'll see you on the next show. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.